Hi guys, good morning. So in this uh, video, we will see how to handle the back in code, back in explicit intent. So right now, if this is the last program, last video, we've already created, a, we are moving from one page to other page. So first page to second page. So now we will write from second page to third page navigation, then we can see that. So here in the second page, so I want to drag and drop one button. So I drag and drop one button here. So this button, so here I'm writing this move to third page. So move to third page. Then here uh, for this also we will enable the data binding. So that is layout. Then, so clicking on this. Now here, I'll write the action for this. So here I'm entering the data binding. So that is a var binding. So var binding. So colon. So activity second binding, right? Here this is the second binding. So we need to write the activity second binding. So handling the nullify condition here. So then binding equal to data binding util dot. Right here uh, we will import this. Second and view. So here this context. Then I'm applying the listener for this. So binding dot. So binding dot button to dot. So button to dot set on click listener. Set on click listener. So here I'm writing the bar content equal to save. Now whatever I'm writing there. Here similar it is intent. So here it is that this at the rate a second. Then from yeah. here thought I'm moving to the thought plus dot Java. So then start activity of intent. Done. So now with the third we need to create a with this name, we need to create one more activity here. So I'm creating the activity. So that is empty activity. Third. So empty activity has created here. So now, first I'll run this program so that uh, we are able to move from second to third uh, or not, we will see here. Then we will see how the back is coming that we will observe. So for there, the some logic is there that I'll explain you. So I'm installing this, running this, we will see the output now.
yeah it is launching now we will see this output now i'm clicking on moto next so we are in second page so from here i'm clicking on this we went to third page now i'm pressing back system back means phone back i'm pressing here so back second page third page means whatever the pages it is going like it is coming same as a back but i don't want like this when i press back button third page it should be first page so then this we can handle in a two ways the first way is in a second page we need to write the finish so that normally what happens when uh, we are moving from one page to other page that uh, particular activity should be waiting on a background it should not kill up completely it is waiting on a background so to control that so either you can handle with the finish or the second way is that, that I'll show you here. So in what case we will write this and what case uh, we will write that, I'll explain you once this output. See, now I'm moving from the first to second and second to third. Now I'm pressing back button in the third page. See, it is coming to the first page because of the finish. Or this we can handle in a different way. See, just I uh, commented here. Now here I'll do something. So here I'll write on back pressed method. So here is the on back pressed method you can write. So with uh, this is on back pressed method is nothing but it can be the system on back. So here uh, we can write one intent. So that is the intent. So here this at the rate of thought, then from here, we are moving to the first activity. The first activity is nothing but here. That is a main, right? So, class dot job like this. Then, start activity. Okay, great. So, I'm running this. So here I'm clicking on this more to next. Now we are in third page. I'm pressing back. See, first page. Like this also we need to handle. But what happens? Which one is best? So the first option is the best because if I go like this, so backgroundly that particular activity is waiting. But on what places we will handle this means? There are simple normally uh, two ways we can handle that so in case of login so once i log in successfully then i move to the next page right so on those cases we will handle the finish because once i after login once i press back we should not go to the login page and because of that there we will handle the finish activity so normal other place like uh, there is a one list uh, is there like a country list is there for example once i click on the country I'm getting the overview of the country. So on those cases, I'll use that. So like this, two cases, we'll use this. So this is the how to handle back in an internet explicitly. Thank you.